The United States Army Training and Doctrine Command is responsible for shaping the Army into the best trained, equipped, and organized modern land power force in the world. U.S. Training and Doctrine Commander General David Perkins recently spoke at the Maneuver Warfighter Conference held at Fort Benning, where he elaborated on TRADOC's priorities including rewriting FM 100-5, the Army Doctrine of Operations. One of the purposes of the operating concept is to describe the future. Describe it, not tell it in exquisite detail, but describe the future in a way that can drive change within the Army. So what we try to do is describe what are the capabilities that potential adversaries will have out there? What is the environment in the world that we're going to operate in? And then what capabilities does the Army need? TRADOC's goal will be to maintain the strength of the document while updating it for today and tomorrow's changing environments. This includes realizing the power behind defining the big picture questions. If you have defined the problem properly, then what's going to happen is all of the answers that are driven after that actually all come together and start making sense. And actually early in battle, probably better than any document we had before did that. General Perkins highlighted that the Army's new operating concept is not just an Army-centric doctrine. It involves joint operations across all domains and branches of service. We have a fairly deliberate way of doing this. If you can provide us that insight early on, if you can provide us your visualization of the problem, if you can provide us an understanding of what your mission is, we'll work that into the basis of what we are doing so that it's not a matter of adapting to you being on the team, but it's really leverage you being on the team. With all domains working together on the new Army operating concepts, not only will it deter possible threats, but take us to a desired Army of 2025. Katie Cook, Fort Benning TV.